Welcome to Brilliant Baking, the show that takes the mystery out of baking and delivers hints and tips straight to your screen. This week we answer your questions and hit you up with some muffin loving. First question. I've been asked to bake a larger than normal cupcake and only have standard size cupcake holders. How could I make a bigger cupcake? From Charlotte. If you're going to make a giant cupcake, there's a couple of options. Uh, we prefer to use a tin, so you bake the base of the cake and you also bake the top of the cake. And then you sandwich the two together and then you ice it so that it looks like a big giant cupcake. Uh, we use a tin but there's also silicone moulds that are available too and we've put some links below so that you can have a look at some of the products available. Question 2. What food mixer do you use and would you recommend it? From Hayden Mia. Well we use the Artisan KitchenAid. Partly because it looks fantastic in your kitchen, but also it's very robust and we would definitely recommend it. However, it is the top end of the price range. So if you just want something every day in your kitchen, there's plenty out there on the market. And in fact, we're gonna be doing a show very soon just on mixers. Final question. My children love baking. Do you have any recipes that contain no added sugar? Ella Watts. That's a great question and one that we get asked a lot. I personally like using fruit as a sweetener, so I'm going to show you how to make some delicious banana muffins. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make some wholemeal, no added sugar banana muffins. These are great to make with your kids, your kids can help, and they're also brilliant to put in your kids' lunch boxes too. So for the ingredients, you will need 200 grams of self-raising wholemeal flour, 150 grams of sultanas, 100 grams of butter, two medium eggs, 400 grams of very ripe mashed banana, and a teaspoon of mixed spice. Okay, so you're gonna add 200 grams of self-raising wholemeal flour to your bowl. If you can't find self-raising flour, then plain flour is absolutely fine and you need to add two teaspoons <clears throat> to, the, to the mixture. And if you want to use normal flour, that's fine. We've chosen wholemeal because it's just a little bit more healthy, adds a bit more fibre to the diet. And any brand of flour is fine. We like Allison's flour, it's good quality flour. To that, you're gonna add one teaspoon of mixed spice. And just give that a quick mix into the flour. Now you're gonna add 100 grams of butter. Now you can either do this using a mixer, um, but I'm gonna use the old-fashioned method and actually work it into the flour using my hands. And you're just looking to make it into really, really fine breadcrumbs. So that's pretty much there now. And now we're going to add uh, 150 grams of sultanas. We use sultanas, but we've also used raisins. They work really well. And this also adds an extra sweetness to the muffin. So just stir those through the flour and butter mix. So once they're thoroughly mixed through the flour and butter mixture, we're going to mash our bananas. Now for this recipe it's really important to get to use very ripe bananas, the riper the better. And if you have bananas that are going off in your fruit bowl but you're not quite ready to make something with them, you can peel them, chop them up, put them in a plastic container and freeze them. And then they're ideal for this recipe, just get them out and defrost them, ready to, to use uh, and they're perfect. So never waste a banana. So let's mash our banana. So mash it till it's fairly smooth and then we're going to add our two eggs to that. These are medium sized eggs. So when they're cracked in you just want to beat them in lightly with a fork. Now just add that to your flour, butter and sultana mixture. 
and then mix that in really well so it's all combined. Okay, so when that's all combined together, that's it and you're ready to put it into its cases. Now this recipe, depending on the size of the cupcake or muffin case you use, depends on how many you get. Now we're using large cupcake cases, they're about 38 millimeter high and then for this recipe you get eight quite big muffins. I've used smaller cases before and I've got about 12 muffins out and the smaller sizes are perfect for kids lunch boxes. Now they're going to go into a moderate oven about 180 degrees centigrade, 160 degrees fan for 40 minutes um, and if you've got a fan oven then I suggest turning them round about halfway just to make sure they bake evenly all across the muffins. While they're baking here's a quick message from our sponsor and then we'll be back with some delicious muffins. Brilliant Baking Magazine is a worldwide digital magazine. It's full of practical tips, recipes, and advice on how to make money from your baking. Plus, every issue features an interview with a top international baker. Join the Brilliant Baking community on Twitter and Facebook and chat with other like-minded bakers. Brilliant Baking Magazine is available on subscription through iTunes and Google Play now. Welcome back. Uh, our muffins are done, so let's go and get them out. Okay, so our muffins are ready, they're golden brown and look delicious. As a double check before you take them out, you can just check with the skewer to see if they're done. So if you place the skewer in and it comes out clean, the cakes are done. And as soon as they're cooled down, they're ready to eat. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please get in touch, we'd love to hear from you. You can contact us on Facebook, Twitter or email, so please send your questions, we'd love to hear from you. And remember to subscribe, like us and tell all of your friends. So until next time, here's to your brilliant baking!